Uh, greetings and salutations. I come before you today to speak about a new Broadway musical with the unfortunate moniker of Bad Cinderella. Now what can I say about this show that the title hasn't already revealed? My big question is, why Cinderella? Why now? Why again? Uh, we've already had Disney and Rodgers and Hammerstein, Brandy, Drew Barrymore. I mean, do we really need Andrew Lloyd Webber too? A real <laughs> cut. Oh. And why so many ballads in the second act? I swear there are at least a hundred. I mean, we get it. You're upset. You've lost your shoe. Get a new one. But it's basically the same story we already know, except this one now includes a troupe of chiseled Chippendale dancers and some other contemporary liberties taken. But really, she's more of a semi-rebellious Cinderella, or, or perhaps a misunderstood Cinderella, like Meghan Markle, or an unrecognizable Cinderella, like Madonna. And even with all its flaws, I hear they're planning on writing some sequels, Snarky Snow White and Raunchy Rapunzel. <laughs> Well, I really hate speaking ill of the dead, but um, even though the cast is very, 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 very talented, I'm afraid this fairy tale is not fated for a happy ending. Aww. Now, can somebody please bring me a turkey leg? I'm starving. Ow! Ow! Oh.